the 10 factors in setting world records. Now, I'm going to just briefly describe or name, I'm briefly going to name the 10 factors and during the course of the seminar, I'm going to go into more detail. One is progressive resistance. There's also what I call an overload factor where you go much heavier, train much heavier just to get your joints and tendons used to it and also to potentiate your muscles. Can't set world records if you're injured or it's a lot harder. So you have injury prevention, we're going to be talking about that. And your overall health, if you have a cold, a flu, pneumonia, it's a lot harder to set a world record. Also you need a period of rest, recovery and growth. It's also important to vary the workout so you keep approaching, building up your strength from different ways, shocking your muscles into growth. And, and a key factor is getting the nervous system prepared for varying amounts of resistance. The nervous system is as important as the, muscles, as the muscles in setting world records. A very important factor is mental power, and I'm going to go into Dr. Nemberg's mind-body workout system that affects the attitude. We're saying world record is as much mental as it is physical. Then we're going to talk about an irradiation factor, where muscles irradiate from one muscle to another, and how that's done. Of course, we have to talk about nutrition. Nutrition is an essential factor in training and in setting world records. And last, but definitely not least, are the spiritual factor. For those who believe in a, in a spiritual identity and a spiritual reality, the power of the Holy Spirit can tremendously augment what we're doing. Now, what we're going to do is talk about part of injury prevention is a warm-up. Now, the key of warming up, particularly if you want to set a world record, is to warm up to cut down injuries, get the muscles warmed up, and there's a balance. You want to warm up without depleting yourself of too much of your energy and strength. So you want to do just enough to have your muscles ready and your nervous system ready, but not too much to tire yourself out. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate the warm-up. We're, we're going to do it on the power pull-up. On the power pull-up, the way we have to set up is to come up high enough to move the bottle on top there. Sometimes it falls over or even it just wavers a little bit. So like this, legs back, a pull command's given. So I just did five reps just to warm myself up a little bit. But you can see the bottle was knocked over. Keep in mind, world records, world records, it's a one rep max, you're just doing it once. Now, what I'm going to do, that was just a little slight warm up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take 45 pounds, just do a few reps, get myself ready. And then uh, I'll attempt the world record, and then I'll go into the rest of the seminar. All right, so this is hanging the weights from a chain in front, and then in the back, that's the belt. So what I'm going to do is do just three reps. Now, how these reps go will tell me how I'm really feeling today. It felt good. This gives you some indication of what's in store. If the warm-up feels heavy, that gives you one thought. Then you have to combat that thought if it's heavy. This felt okay. So now, do let's go into the uh, now I'm going to attempt again 120 I failed at it last week this is for you my young friend Christian it's going to go today Yeah, you got it, you got it. He hit it, he hit it. He hit it. He got it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's for you, Christian, my young friend. You saw me fail last week. Congratulations, Tony, on the world record. My boy's here. That made a big difference. So, we got to count the weights. I failed last week. I was going to show the weights. Bottom's going to demonstrate this with the exact weight 120 pounds. We're going to have everybody come up as witness statements. New world record and a power pull up. I'm Dr. Arnold Nirenberg. I'll be 68 this May in a few months, but I'm technically, I'm still 67. 